First of all, my prayers and condolences for two Las Vegas police officers, Alan Beck and Chris Soldo, who were shot while they were having lunch by two people who now are said to have been white supremacists. Absolutely wacko. In, we have to ask ourselves, what is it that's happening that's starting to bring out people who have this idea that they have to judge others by the color of their skin or lack thereof and go to violent lengths and actions? I go back to something that was written in a book called Manufacturing Matters by Bob Reich and way far back to the period roughly of 1999, excuse me, 19, 1999, what am I saying? That was before then, 1985, 1984. Anyway, Manufacturing Matters called for the Neat the establishment of an industrial policy to save manufacturing in the United States. One of the arguments around the reasons for the retention of manufacturing was the impact that severe job loss and loss of income and lifestyle had on families, which in a lot of cases were, in a fair number of cases rather, were harmed by the ugly specter of domestic violence. And I think what's going on now is you have a whole subculture of people impacted by job loss chronic income problems and they're sent and they have they get crazy ideas they're isolated by the internet and how it's impacted our society and those ideas fester they take hold and they act in ways like those two acted and we're all the worse off for it it's leading to mass shootings it's leading to young people with getting into gun culture because they think in some type of way that's uh, their way of expressing themselves or fixing what's wrong around them. This is epidemic, but the one way we can cure all of this is to get manufacturing jobs, low skill, well paying back into this country and make sure that we have jobs that are that way. It's not a minimum wage thing. It's deeper than that. We've got to make things in this country again, materials, and not leave it to robots or cheap labor. Even when we have to subsidize the labor here, it's what we've got to do to save our own country.